Hi everyone, I'm Josh Staines, this is John Staines. We are the descendants of the Wiradjuri people of Molongan Parks. Um, Dad, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? I was born and raised in Glebe and come from the Housing Commission area. I played a lot of football as a young man, played for Balmain Tigers, third grade, second grade, and finished off my career playing in first grade. Your family history was a big standout. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, my family history is um, mainly of alcohol abuse and um, smoking abuse. I've lost quite a few members through alcohol and smoking, uh, lung cancer, strokes, heart attack. Diabetes was another thing my, one of my grandfathers had and he lost both his legs. His wife died of a heart attack at the age of 50. My father's mother also died of a heart attack at age 67. My father's father committed suicide through alcohol abuse at the age of 55. My mother was another victim. She died of uh, lung cancer at the age of 58. And my father died at the age of 72 from lung cancer. And I've also lost two or three uncles to heart attacks. I lost at least two or three aunties through heart attacks and, and uh, strokes. Yeah, I guess sort of the two big recent um, medical issues in our family was with the passing of Uncle Eddie early this year. Yeah, he was a a drinker and a smoker. Um, when he got to age of 59, the age I am now, he went and seen a doctor about some um, pains in his chest. He used to have smoked two packets of cigarettes a day and mostly drank about 12 schooners of beer a day. And the doctor said to him, if uh, we don't give you a quadruple bypass, you won't see 60. So he, he had a quadruple bypass at the age of 60 never smoked another cigarette from that day and never had another drink from that day and lived to the age of 80 where he had a, a massive heart attack and he, he died. With Aunty Vicky, um, younger sister? Yeah, my sister's 11 years younger than me. She had a um, cancer in the jaw. And they took a left side of the jaw out and uh, peeled the face back and took all the lymph nodes in the neck and uh, that out and um, all the teeth come out. Then they had to put the face back and do plastic surgery and sew her up and it was touch and go whether she was gonna make it or not. But uh, five years later, she's still here and she um, hasn't had a smoke or a drink of alcohol since that operation. The doctors are very happy with her progress and another two years should be the telling story whether she's out of the woods. What What's some steps that you take to sort of stay on top of your medical health as well. Um. Yeah, well, I used to do a lot of training and um, five days a week I'd train a couple of hours a day until I, I had an accident at work. Since that day I've had three operations on my back, a knee replacement. I walk a lot now and um, I watch my diet. Muesli and a small um, fruit salad in the morning, ham and salad sandwich, for lunch and steak, mostly steaks or chops, grilled steaks or chops and um, vegetables for um, for dinner and try and stay off the uh, the sweets and... Uh, you see Dr Pockley, our GP? I see him every month. Yep. Uh, get a blood count, a blood test done every, every uh, three months. He looks at my weight, gives me a thorough check over with my kidneys, liver and uh, prostate gives me the all clear and just monitors to see how I'm going, especially with my weight. Um, you also stated in that life app that you've got diabetes and um, high blood pressure. How often do you meet with the diabetic clinic? And About every three months and um, they tell me what I'm, if I'm going any good or if I'm not. They're pretty um, straightforward and let you know if you're not doing the right thing. What sort of exercise do you do throughout the week when you're not at work? mainly walking with the dogs. So we've got some greyhounds. We have a bit of luck with them from time to time, but it keeps me busy walking them and exercise, like taking them to the races and trials. And so it keeps me mobile and gives me a good interest and takes my mind off of other things. As we went through the Life app, they um, gave us sort of two pledges or two suggestions that you could do to sort of improve your, your health and lifestyle. Um, do you want to talk about what they were? Um, yes, yeah, stretching was, a, was a, a, a huge part of it. And uh, the diet, which was good. Yeah, stretching is a good, a good thing because it, it helps me with a lot of the football injuries that I, I, I you know, got from when I was playing. And uh, they seem to come on you later on in life, um, especially around the neck and shoulder area. Yep. 
in the back, lower back and um, the knees, so stretching is a very important part of um, exercising. So um, do you have any further suggestions to any of our viewers or our community here of what they can do now? Cut out the drinking, cut out the smoking, and eat, eat well, and you know, exercise well. And I think everyone, instead of Aboriginal people living to the age of about 58 male, and I think, what, I forget what it is for a female, it might be 60 years, I think we can get up and put another 20 years on top of our life with just moderating what we've been done doing in the past, abusing our bodies. So who's your support network? Well, my doctor, my physiotherapist, dietitian, also the diabetic clinic, my family. Also your mother's been a great part of it uh, with the cooking and your sister. Another thing that you also often do is go and have um Go and have breakfasts with um, Uncle Bobby. Yeah, I and, look forward uh, to having breakfast with a couple of friends during the week down at the uh, cafe at Redfern Park there, and um, which serve a lot of healthy meals, no junk. If you start your day off with having a healthy meal, it helps you continue on that way through the day. You know, the healthy healthy diet is a, is a big plus in my life. Thanks for coming in and yarning with us and giving us all the info about um, our family. So. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, bro.